Five when he won the Kentucky Derby, 80 to one second biggest long shot in the history of the Kentucky Derby. And that's the question we're waiting to find out whether or not you know, was that a fluke or was he just underestimated? Rick Strike here at Belmont Park schooling earlier today. It was in December of 2016 that a fire at the Mercury Equine Center in Lexington, Kentucky destroyed one of trainer Eric Reed's barns and claimed the lives of nearly two dozen horses in his care. Reed was devastated and says he even considered leaving the sport. But with the love and support of his family, friends, and the racing community, Reed picked himself up and learned a valuable lesson from that tragic morning. I learned a lot from the fire. I mean, you learn when you get down to what you believe is probably the lowest point of your life. It's not. And, and I learned how much love and kindness is out there from strangers and from friends because they build you back up and help you through those times. And, you know, I thought that was a horrible deal, and it was. It was 23, like our children. But, you know, we, we, we bounced back, and then I had two of my best friends pass away of cancer. I mean, that was every bit as hard, you know. And then my grandson was killed in a terrible accident. So there's another thing that was just as hard. But you, you find a way to get through them, and then out of nowhere, God blesses us with Rich. Yeah. Rich strike, now by 10, now by 12. Rich strike, this race was never in doubt. Reed and owner Rick Dawson claim Rich Strike out of his second career start, a 17 and a quarter length maiden victory beneath the Twin Spires at Churchill Downs. They paid $30,000 for the son of Keen Ice that day, and after his next start, Reed began thinking about the Kentucky Derby. I thought at that point, you know, if I was ever gonna have one, this could be the one, but it was still a big reach, but that's when I started thinking that way. Well, I thought at least we were going to get our money's worth out of him. And, um, you know, we turned out to be a little bit better than that. I w always thought we had a chance. It was just finding how we were going to get the points. When he, when Sonny got off him in the Pataglia, his eyes were as big as silver dollars. And he said he has the fire that we've been waiting on. He goes, he's ready now. We just need to get the points. Despite losing his first five starts for the new connections, Reed never wavered from his lofty goal. After a third place finish in the Jeff Ruby Stakes, Rich Strike was still on the outside looking in of the Kentucky Derby starting gate. But an 11th hour scratch of Ethereal Road turned Reed's vision into reality. Rich Strike would now be one of the 20 horses to run for the Roses. And despite being the longest shot on the board, it was already a dream come true for Reed and those who supported him in his darkest hour. I remember everything about the walkover because it was my dad and my crew and I wanted those guys to, to be able to say they'd made the walkover. And I remember as we made the turn onto the track and I looked at the grandstands and I told my dad, I said, we we're always those guys watching everybody. I said, this year they're watching us. And you know, I, I was so happy for my dad to be able to make that walk because man, he, he paid his dues to, you know, he deserved that walk more than I did. And um, I was a winner at that point, no matter what happened in the race. And here comes Rich Strike down toward the inside. It's a wild finish in the Kentucky Derby. And on the wire, Rich Strike does it. Wow, a shocker in the Kentucky Derby. He's changed a lot of lives forever. Um, you know, I tell Jerry Jr. that I said, you know, your great grandchildren will look at the Derby Museum and say, that was my great grandfather. And I said, you're there forever. And I said, this is part of history that can't be taken away from you, this experience. The impact Rich Strike has had goes beyond just the team that cares for him every day. He's now one of the sport's most beloved underdog stories. I enjoy the fan base that um, it seems Richie has because I keep hearing about it. I see pages that people have created on social media that I don't even know who these people are and it's you know the Rich Strike fan club and stuff so um, it's fun to watch. I'm tickled to death that, that we're seeing happiness again and you know I hope Richie can keep keep running good and keep keep these fans happy and I hope this ride goes a long way. When asked what it means to have a horse like this in his life, Reed thinks back to that December morning in 2016 and where he and his team are now. It's strictly just a gift from God. He just came into the barn in a crazy way and he's changed every person's life associated with him. The epitome of the high.